it's us again. It's us again. It's us again. <laughs> and so we're here to update everyone on my treatments and my, my, you know, treatments. So my incision is healing really well and um, it's looking really nice. So it doesn't, it doesn't hurt anymore. It hasn't hurt for a couple weeks actually. I know so. she has actually been amazing. I mean, she never even once walked bent over. I don't know how she did it. But. <laughs> well, I mean, I just didn't need to. So, <laughs> but um, yeah, it's healing well. Everything is going well. And then last week, last Thursday, I had a port placed, and the port is so that they can access my veins more easily because the chemotherapy that I had kind of kills your veins and makes it hard for them to find the veins and so like they they have to like dig and it hurts and it's not fun and i don't recommend it um and so they put a port and basically it's just a little thing under their skin and they put a tiny little needle in there whenever they need to access it so that's still healing you can see it's a little tapes where the incision was but that was actually a really interesting experience because it was a surgery, technically, an outpatient surgery, but still a surgery, where I'm awake. But they gave me conscious sedation, so I was kind of like, you know. But um, then they numbed the area with um, lidocaine shots. So I didn't feel a thing except some pressure, so, but it didn't hurt. But the doctor sang songs. It was really cool. Yes. So, he was nice. He was really nice. Um, yeah, we're gonna... <laughs> the cat's gonna pull the whole camera thing off in a minute. <laughs> this is my mom's cat, Binksy. And he's terror. He's spoiled, though. Yeah, he's kind of spoiled. Here, Come here. <laughs> so... There he goes. <laughs> There he goes off to play. But um, after the port was placed, we went, we met with my normal gynecologic oncologist doctor. And she has is going to be starting me on two medicines. One of the medicines already started. It's an injection called Fulvestrant, I think it's what it's called. And it's an anti-estrogen injection. And at two shots in each butt, one in each butt cheek. It's not <laughs> fun. Don't recommend it. But the shots are only, they, they have to push it in, it takes... It takes like about three minutes to push each shot, and for the first like 60 to 90 seconds it was very painful. And but it was, it's better than the six hours of chemo. Definitely better than the six hours of chemo. And my hair will be going back, my hair is already kind of growing back. If you can, if you can see my hair. A little fuzzy. I'm a little fuzzy. But... Um, the other medicine hasn't started yet because they're still dealing with the insurance assholes. Um, yeah, the problem with the other medicine is it's actually approved for breast cancer. Mm -hmm. For hormone receptive breast cancer, my cancer is a hormone receptive ovarian cancer. So in theory, the medicine should work for this type of cancer too because it does the same kind of thing. But insurance that sees breast cancer and that I have ovarian cancer and they're like, well, we're not going to pay for that. And I'm like, I want to kill you. Yeah. It's amazing how insurance can actually run your medical or, or you know, any of your treatments or anything more so than a doctor can. Yeah, I mean, they're I not even doctors. That. I want to kill them. I hope this video doesn't turn out upside down. You can, you can, um, if it is upside down, there are ways to turn it around. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure, so. Fingers crossed. There are. Okay. Like pictures. You just have to, yeah, edit maybe differently. But, um, yeah, so that medicine, I think it's called something like Cascaldi. And it's technically a chemotherapy drug, I think, but it's a pill. I would take a, three pills a day, like I think in the morning, mm -hmm. uh, for 21 days. And then I would have seven days of not taking the pill, the pills, and then I would start back up again. So they're working on that, or I guess maybe if they aren't able to get that, there'd be some other alternative. But at least I have something that should at least make it so it's not spreading. Yeah. So, but 
I don't know if we maybe have to do another chemotherapy if this one ends up not being approved. Yeah, I mean, we have no idea yeah. all the different types of treatments you might end up doing. Yeah, it's a it's, throughout, but but that's what's going on right now. We're just waiting to hear back about that. I think it could probably take like about a month for the appeal process. Yeah. And she said that the chemo pill has less side effects than the chemo, like an actual infusion. So I might still have a little bit of side effects, but they should be way less awful. Yeah. And she said that even if, even though it's a chemotherapy drug, my hair should still grow back. It won't. My, the, I guess the pill doesn't cause you to lose your hair, which will be nice because I miss my hair. I'm growing mine back. Yeah, she's fuzzy. I'm fuzzy. Because I told her, just grow your hair back. Yeah. So, <laughs> and it worked out because I'm starting to grow mine out, so. But this is growth of only like a month and a half. It's a lot. Maybe a month. Maybe a month. So, and this is... I don't half a month maybe yeah because it just started growing it just started back. growing back like a couple weeks ago yeah so I mean I think it's doing pretty good yeah you do kind of have a little bald spot on I top know of your head. I know <laughs> it'll all grow back eventually but it just some parts take a little bit longer to start the regrowth process come here and it's going to be Yay. interesting to see how it grows back because a lot of times after chemotherapy your hair will grow back different mm -hmm. it can come back a different color it can come back curly if your texture. hair was straight different texture but that usually only lasts like maybe six months to a year and then yeah, I think then, your hair goes back to what it was before yeah that's what the doctor said yeah so that might be interesting so far I think it is a slightly different color but it's still blonde yeah but I can actually see your eyebrows I've never seen your eyebrows I know, before you can see my eyebrows because my eyebrows were, before were so light, they were so much lighter than the hair on top of my head, and they were just, you couldn't see them. <laughs> so, yep, but, um, I'm really hoping we're able to get this chemo pill within the next month or so, because um, maybe that would kill off what's left, or at least some of what's left, because they weren't able to remove all the cancer yeah, and now, the, they did say, I mean, we're not going to be able to kill off all the cancer, and there, you know, there is no cure, and there's no way to remove it all, um, so at this point, we are doing all of the different treatments in order to give her as many years as possible, and I mean, that is the way the doctor worded it, and, but, you know, we know that having as many years as possible so you know like i said you know there's so much new stuff that comes out that you never know what what's going to come out next so yeah. you just take this one process at a time mm -hmm. you do what you can and you keep a positive attitude i'm trying to do that it's hard sometimes it is hard sometimes and um I don't know if you're willing to share anything that you kind of are dealing with yet or not. No. Not yet. Okay. And, you know, so those of you that are out there dealing with it too, you know, you can kind of understand the, you know, and what we all have to deal with, my cat is just going absolutely bonkers over here, <laughs> if you can see him. But in the meantime, I'm living life. Yeah. Doing good. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have any special plans for any like trips or anything yet this year, although I do want to go back to California or, or Disney World or Florida, you know, Cal either California or Florida I want to do this year and go to Disney. I think maybe Florida, Disney World. I think that'd be good. Maybe we could plan it around October and do Halloween Horror Nights. Ooh. <laughs> so that'd be fun. We'd record some of that for y'all. but. There will also be other things that we do that we'll record and share with everyone. So, yeah, hope it's a good year. Um, yeah, hope everything goes well with me and with you guys. So, yeah, just 
keep the faith, stay positive, even though cancer sucks. Cancer sucks. You heard it here. <laughs> you heard it here first, mm -hmm. live. Yeah, <laughs> it's not live. <laughs> no, it's not live. <laughs> and they probably didn't hear it her first either, so I think I lied on yeah, my counts. Yeah, that's the joke. Oh, the joke. It's the joke. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all right. I don't think there's anything else for us to talk about. So I guess we'll see you guys next time. Right, bye. bye.